Okay. It's intimidating, yes, but we have to start somewhere. Why don't we have a closer look at that tower to the southeast? We might be able to reach it from the edge of the trench. Music is really nice. Can I invite you to party? Um, I can't invite you to the party. I don't. Oh. I don't know how that happened, but okay. I'm not a lead. Oh, I'm not a lead. Okay. Finally arrived at New York. It's really pretty here. It's you guys are gonna hate me. It gives me Quadratum vibes from Kingdom Hearts. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you probably are sick of me hearing things comparing to Kingdom Hearts, but tell me this does not give off Quadratum vibes. It definitely does. Especially with that trailer we saw. So. I have to go this way. Quadratum is a new city in Kingdom Hearts 3. 4. AKA Shibuya, that's true. Quadratum is made after Shibuya. <laughs> You're I'm sorry, you came to a channel where Kingdom Hearts will always be discussed. Always. It's not my fault, okay? It's not my fault. I can compare this to Sonic 2 if you want to. I will find something to compare it to Sonic. It's just easier to Kingdom Hearts. Because it's kind of like the same franchise. We, we can discuss the writing part if you want to. Share the hat trick only in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> only compare things to Shadow. I can do that. You know that Shadow the Hatchet game with the guns? That would be where he is. That would be where he would live. It's the edginess of where he would live. The music is really nice. But the music of the whole expansion is really nice so far. The GTO Sonic characters? Not quite. Look at the size of those doors. Now I know how pixies must feel. Nix Venus, recognize. Welcome to the city of Amarel. Will you be riding the lift? Oh, I could make a voice. Wait. I can make a voice for that one. Mayhap it is not passing strange that Amit Sala cannot invite Nyx to visit this abode. Oh, I don't want to update this, this is fine. This plane that I came in was expected. And where will this lift be taking us? Okay, wait, give me a second. The lift services every level of our current height, but is presently configured to convey passengers directly to the ground floor. Let's get my money worth out of this program. <laughs> it's been a while I used it. Well, there you have it. In the absence of some few hundred yalms of rope, we have little choice but to accept the offer. With emphasis on the we, I'm not about to let you walk into that place alone. Uh, it's called voice mod, but you have to pay for it, but it's not expensive. I wish to ride the lift. As you wish, the lift will arrive shortly. You know how this feels like in Kingdom Hearts? I'm sorry. In Kingdom Hearts in the castle with Mickey and Minnie, the really big door that just has a smaller door in there, that's the vibes. Next up, ground floor. 
Facilities include the Bureau of the Administrator, the Bureau of the Architect, and the Capitol. Let's go. The music is gone. Oh. Hiya, Bomi! How you doing? Let me just listen to the music a bit. Oh, I got, I got, I got a few more things. It's only at this distance that you start to realize just how big buildings truly are. What did that voice call the city? Amaro? You're excited for your birthday on a Sunday? <gasps> awesome! We're so close, birthday buddies! Look, over there. That's not Emmett. He's glowing. Emmett wouldn't glow. Is that... A person? Huh, no, a mistake. That's a giant. It doesn't seem to have noticed us yet. Giant or no, a resident of this place may have much and more tell to us. I say we make it the first move. Alpha, no, you can't just. <sighs> oh. They have the mask of the Asians of! Excuse my boldness, but might I ask you a few questions? Okay. Oh, what adorable costumes. Are your children on excursion? This district has much to teach you. That sounded like no language I ever heard, and yet I understood every word. Thank you, Amani. Thank you so much. I hope you're gonna have a lovely birthday weekend too. Just as you understood us. They sound a bit like near characters, you know? I say with your ass. <clears throat> And which district is this exactly? You must be lost, poor thing. You stand in the holy Leroy. Holy Lur Cat, please don't skip this. Holy Larry Tadis. And you guys tell me Kingdom Hearts names are difficult to pronounce. What the fuck is that district named after? Wherein lie in the institution most vital to the management of our star. Can you tell us where to find Emmet Silk? Thank you so much! It's been a while! How are you doing? Ah, I see. You've come tomorrow at the breaking of the con... Convocation of 14. Oh. Ha, ha, hmm. Highly surprising, I suppose. The whole world holds its breath as the final days draw near, and our brightest minds race to implement their plans. Thus, you must understand that gaining an audience at this time will be next to impossible. You should hurry home now, before my your families begin to worry. Do you need me to walk you back? It's kind of cute how he thinks we're kids. No, thank you. We, we will be fine. Very well. Take care, little ones. It's not weird at all. Absolutely normal. 
What was that all about? To my eyes, these people appear as arcane entities. I suspect Emmett Salak evolved them from Ether, much as he reconstructed the rest of the city. Final days. Such words well befit the oblivion described to us by our Essian foe. A catastrophe of unprecedented a catastrophe of unprecedented scale, which did set in motion the summoning of Zodiac, and then Heidelin herself. But that happened centuries and centuries ago, didn't it? The men spoke as if they were rushing to over the disaster here and now. Unless, for these people, the distant past is the here and now. I believe you have the right, you have the right of it, Master Alfinel. This ethereal Amara, this ethereal Amaro and its residents appear to be phantoms of a different age. <laughs> it, it's just, it's simply a little voice mod for a fitting character. A Metzak have resurrected a memory, a moment, time from before the Star Wars Sundered. He's missing home, okay? Can you blame him? So we find ourselves in a long destroyed city inhabited by the long departed. An unusual situation, to be sure, but at least we're able to parley with these ancients. In fact, they seem downright eager to chat. I say we use this to our advantage, split up, strike up some conversation, and see if we can learn the location of our quarry. And while we're at it, I wouldn't hurt to whittle out a few more details regarding this convocation of 14. And their impending disaster. Well, it got split into 14 little parts, so I guess that's gonna be that one. Yeah, you know, killing, schmilling, it's like, you know, you know, can we really blame him though? Can we? It's mingling then. Let's meet back here when our jaws just start aching. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm a party leader now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, don't worry. Everything's good. Uh, where do I go? I thought you gotta go make dinner. Oh. Are you gonna be my chauffeur now? I don't think this is gonna make sense. I just have to go out, though. I just have to go... Oh, wait, there are big guys there. I technically just have to go straight. It's not far, though. Just a tiny bit. So many tall people. Oh! I gotta level up. Okay, I'm gonna leave. I can't dismount. Um, I would need to leave. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, There has to be a person here somewhere. Eventually, maybe? Let me see. Is it that one over there? It's that one over there. I just like to go in circles, you know. Not bad. Good gracious, child. Where is your family? You should not be alone at a time like this. Run along home, quickly now. Have you not heard? Though we are confronted to the lands across the sea, a terrible phenomenon affects our star. They're calling it the final days. The sun starts suddenly, a cacophony is keying. From beneath the earth, the sound distorts all living things within earshot and breaths from us control of our creation magic. Once that happens, all is lost. Fear, pain, despair, every dread and pause is siphoned from our minds and given substance. An eternal fall of fury rain, an incessant spawning of nightmarish beasts. None can point to the source of the phenomenon. This as if the star itself has fallen ill, as if a force inimical to life festers and spreads. 
It's only a matter of time until I'm a row too, where sounds to that discordant squall. You should stay with your love ones, child. Stay with them. The city is pretty big. Yeah, it is. Okay, we gotta go this way. Follow me. If you want to. You don't have to. But you can follow me. Oh, there's an etherite. I'm gonna grab that in a second. I'm at Sullivan. I'm afraid you have the wrong office, little one. And besides, he will be far too busy to feel the questions of curious children. Surely you have been told of the looming catastrophe. Every research available to the convocation must be spent upon assuring our world survives. They have yet to make an official announcement, but it is said the 14 are moving forward with a plan of scarce credible proportion, one which promises to grant will to the very star itself. They will invoke our mightiest files of creation to birth an entity of all encompassing magnificence, and then they will revive the laws of existence. It's a huge undertaking, and it must be completed ere the, er the corruption spreads this far. Thus, I say to you again do not hold our hope for an audience. Okay, what I think is happening. to sort my thoughts first of all why would emic actively invite us to the city other than us gaining this information maybe in hope that we will assist him in regaining what they lost because they're talking about the fact that the star is gonna split into 14 so it has to be somehow a part of their plan because they know if they like split it, they can like remend it sooner or later. And maybe there is like a main Asian who gets like, you know, appointed to one of the stars. And Emmet is like appointed to our stars because he founded the Golemond Empire. Yeah, the, the planets are rejoining so that it's a big star again because like this, this was this was the big star once and he wants that everything is a big star again but like because of Hydaelyn and Zodiac something happened already and then they tried to just like make the big poof simply in a we split and then we put everything back together of course no one will be on board with that but like you know maybe he's trying to make us sentimental for him I mean, he needs to have a back out. Like, he needs to have a plan why he lets me in here. Maybe he needs my energy I have when I turn into a big... Big sun? I know that the sun is the main star. I know that. No, that's what I'm saying. But, like, every star had, like, maybe, like, an Asian appointed to them. So that the rejoining can happen. Because like, they had the medal so that it's gonna happen at one point. If he just wants to chat and tea with me. I have doubts that that's his actual goal. I'm being honest. I think he either wants to use me for something. Or he wants to like. Make me join his. I don't think he believes I would join his cause. I don't know. Maybe he just thinks that I, I'm compassionate. And I don't know. I don't know. What I'm sure of is it's a big scheme of some sort. <laughs> Pl please come to my ancient city I rebuilt and it's looking exactly like the ancient city I had like once before because like he also never changed his name because all the all the giants know him by the name. So like you know Hi. Huh, 
who seem the hollowest host to most prosperous visitors this day. And what pray tell shall be the subject of our discussion, young ones. Oh, the convocation and their handling of their coming peril. It's only natural that you should have questions. Shall we begin with the members themselves? As I know, the fourteen are the wisest and most puissant among them. It's fourteen planets that this got split into, and they have fourteen wisest people. So I think every one of those got like, you get that planet there, and you have to make that it's rejoining the source over there. So like, it's going to be a big planet again. That's what I think is gonna happen. Oh my god, this- yeah. I can't imagine they're gonna look so funny as a Lala, yeah. Shall we begin with the members themselves? They are stewards of order, responsible for decisions which keep the star turning season after season. Be it to speak a lot bro- La Bria was a big shot? He died so early on. I'm so sad about La Bria. He was turning finally interesting and then he died. Or the emissary, Elizabeth. Each seat is occupied by an elected sage of surpassing intellect. Lodra, Mifrin, and Vassalic, the individual titles have as a gesture of respect and a matter of tradition, become synonymous with their incumbents. Thus it was their great incredi incredi incredulity that I greet this recent rumor that a seat in the convocation is soon to be lost. What's that? If proven true, it would be an unprecedented development, a testament to the immense pressure under which our savers are toiling. In any event, for one, I'm confined that it shall deliver our star unto salvation. Look, what I also think is, they were technically not bad people. They just have like a different goal in mind. They just lost their whole planet. I mean, think they were working towards too. Like, did you watch Madoka Magica? It's the same with Kyube. Like, yeah, he, he's not the nicest character on Earth, but like, he kinda does the thing he does to preserve the big picture, you know? So, um... I'm not saying whatever the fuck they're doing is justified. I'm just saying that it's probably not as black and white as we make it to be. I also wasn't the one who this time commented on the organization thing. I did not want to say it, but Lucario said it, so uh, yeah, it seems like it's the real organization of Final Fantasy XIV. Let's go back to Alfino. Oh, it's even called the end of the world? Guys, guys, it's so hard to not make a goddamn Kingdom Hearts joke with that. Nix, if I was not certain before, then I am now. The people of the city believe they face the end of the world. I cannot imagine what purpose compelled Emmet Salak to recreate this ancient Amaro. And yet, I fancy I hear his words to us echoing throughout this ocean trench. He would have his story known. We can compare notes once the others return. Hopefully then our next move will become clearer. Okay, it's, it's, it's the... I have one more quest after this one. So it's the second to last quest. Oh, God damn it. Whew. We're getting there, we're getting there. But seem our conversation very much alike. A looming disaster, creation of magics running rampant, and this convocation's efforts to bring salvation out of chaos. I suppose there was talk of little else in the time when the when these events came to pass. Oh, Uriangir, if I may, what are your thoughts on the ancient's art of creation? A fascinating disciple, indeed. Our the mind can conceive may be re rendered in reality. All that is required is a clear concept upon which to focus one's will. This is not dissimilar to the primal rites taught by the Asian. 
We're in ritual sur sur We're in ritual serenum seren ceremony ceremony oh that that's not how you pronounce that name <laughs> the word that's not how it's supposed to sound ceremony <laughs> oh my god hi Ari welcome thanks on my level up thank you I appreciate it <laughs> Breath of life into figment of my of myth and legend. I see we arrived at the same conclusion done. <laughs> Reading is really hard, okay? Reading is really hard. <laughs> the people who lived in the age before the sundering were blessed with vast reserves of mana. No matter how draining these creations magic must be, it seems they paid a cost with not more than a fraction of the ether which cursed through their own bodies. If we were to attempt the same, such spells would soon deplete our energies and then seek to draw the balance from elsewhere, from a horde of crystals, mayhap, or from the very land itself. Thus, when this artist's creation was placed into our hands, it became, in effect, a means for destruction. An interesting matter which no doubt bears further study, but despite all these revelations, I worry we are no closer to finding Emmet Salk. Has anyone learned all which might lead us to his location? Not directly, may have buff from what we've heard, it seems the convocation of 14 is sequestered in the nearby capital building. When we went to see our for ourselves, the attendant wouldn't let us through without a writh, writh of permission. So we tried our luck at the Bureau of the Administration, where we thought these permissions might be issued, but the clerk there said he couldn't help us since our names didn't appear in the registry. And that was where we gave up. I wonder though, Nyx, could you be eligible for one of these threats? The voice in the lift seemed to know who you were. It might be that your name is registered uh, at the bureau as well. Worth a look, I'd say. Is it because I'm part of this whole thing? Meanwhile, I head back to the capital and see a search for our last official point of entry, just in case. I'm still remembering that one remember line from him. Like, you know? Please allow me to accompany you on your reconnaissance. An arcane perspective may prove needful. Needful, useful, whatever. <clears throat> I, I think I'd like to speak with more of these ancients. Maybe they know something that could help cure Nix's condition. Would you mind coming with me? Oh, I'll just say bye. It's fine. Of course, I don't mind. Just lead the way. Then you shall and I will busy ourselves with further exploration. There is surely more intelligence to be had. And so we part ways once more. At this time... Hi! Thank you so much! Thank you! Oh, that's so sweet of you! I think the alert's working again! Hopefully! Maybe! Eventually! Thank you so much! This time, however, let us reconceive in front of the capital. The alerts today work as they wish to work. I, I, I don't know. Seriously, I, I don't know. Okay, um... We're teleporting here. I have to go to the toilet real quick. So we're gonna make a brick toilet break. Um, I also have to feed my cats. It suddenly is very late. And I think they, they, they screamed at me because they wanted dinner. So uh, get yourself something to drink real quick and then um, we will be right back 